So hello, welcome to Dutch Air Builds. My name is Jerome and this is a small video on how to remove the idle jet from a carb like this. So this is the carb of a GL 1100 Honda and these idle jets are not supposed to come out and I'm going to show you how to do it. There's a couple of things you need for this job. Drill. You will need uh, drill bits, two and a half, three millimeters. You will need a tap, three millimeters would be best. And you can do that manually or use the, the, the power tool, but be careful with it, nice and slow. And you will need a M3 uh, screw or nut or bolt, whatever, with a nut on it and a couple of washers. Two will be best for this size and these washers will need to fit over the hole of the idle jet so this is where the idle jet sits and the washers should be big enough to fill that gap completely and you will need a screwdriver and some spanner or something to turn that nut on this uh, little thing so this like m3 and you need a bit of luck i guess well, I had some luck. Maybe some carb cleaner and or WD-40 or something to kind of help smooth everything out. Lube. Yeah. So let's dive in. It's a pretty quick uh, procedure, but you have to be really careful because you only got one shot. One pistol, one shot. So this is the carb we're working on. We're going to get the, the idle jet away from this. I think uh, there is some other ways to do that and that's using a extractor, a screw extractor. I've tried this and actually failed with this. So maybe I'm not using these extractors correctly. Could be my mistake. You think? <laughs> I found that this method works pretty good and I've had good results with it. I've actually had a 100% score on removing it. So I'm pretty confident with this manner and I've already failed once with that one. So that's 100% fail <laughs> so far um yeah and like i said again shit your own risk you've got one shot um if you screw that up then your car body is basically uh toast this is a donor body so i'm not really worried about it but be careful be careful all right so i want to show you how i get the idle jet from this point over here uh this is the thing we're going to get out which is the slow jet for the uh, 80 and 81 models, the GL1100. I don't know if the uh, GL1000 has the same ones, uh, but these uh, do not have like a, a slit like that to turn it out. And it doesn't have any um, threads on it. So it's kind of pushed in uh, inside here. And this clogs up really, really easy. And I've got that problem now. So this is a carb body from a donor uh, carb, which is in really bad state. So this is a good thing to practice on. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm going to use. One is a uh, power drill. Uh, and I need a drill of about two and a half millimeters thick. And I've dropped it earlier and I can't find it now. Six and a half hours late. Uh, there's, you can hardly see it. That's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Uh, let's see. Right again. There it is. So that's that idle jet down there. All right. So we're looking at this one over here. And now we're grabbing. All right, suddenly you have to feel it 
pulling this tab in. So I went up to, I think this was a three in the end. I'm just going to empty this again. Oh, there's a lot of stuff coming out <coughs> from the top of the car. But you can see the small pieces that came out of the uh, of this idle jet over here. There it is. All right, so we've got a, a threaded idle jet right now. So next up, uh, where is it? Here it is. So a three millimeter uh, bolt thingy, whatever, whatever you've got with a nut on it and some washers. So you put the nut on and the washers. All right, now put this in. And you keep turning this until you feel it. Grabbing the threads, of course. Which it's not really doing. Yeah, it is. I can feel it. All right, I've got fairly strong resistance now. Strong enough. Now I'm going to pull this down as far as it goes onto the washers. Now I haven't got a small enough thing for it. I'm just going to keep turning this uh, nut and then that should pull out the entire bolt with the idle jet. And so far you could stick some WD-40 in there or car cleaner which is the thing I did to kind of free it up. I can already feel it coming. You don't need much. As soon as you've got a good uh, good connection with the uh, threads it's fairly easy to get out but it is still a very tricky operation because if those threads go then uh, you're in deep shit because the way you handled this you're in deep shit so I can feel the resistance going mm. I think it's already out. There it is. And there's the idle jet. And as you can see, that's the state it's in. Now, it will be really, really hard to get this clean. Again, this is not the car from my uh, Goldwing, but the inside of this idle jet could very well be the same. And you can stick a lot of car cleaning in it, but you won't get rid of this stuff. So, I've got it out now. Hold it. I don't want to damage it. Just turn this out. And there you have it. The one idle jet. Now, um, I don't think if you can buy these anymore, I'm not really sure. But the good thing is there's, uh, you can take this in and out. Now, if, if I want to put this back, you just throw this down here and just kind of tap it with something that's just around the same thickness as this. So I don't know, some small punch and just give it a few taps and that should do the trick. <clears throat> But the main thing now is to get this hole cleaned up again. And there's a couple of holes here as well. Well, than cleaning this one. So there are the holes. You can see it should be open. And of course, 
front to back. And as you can see, that hole is really tiny. And that makes it so hard. But that's what you do. So that was my small video on how to remove the idle jets from the carb of a GL1100 8081 model uh, that does not have uh, threads on it. Uh, I, hope help, I hope it helps you uh, if you run into these problems. The reason I'm taking these out because one side of the carbs is not feeding any fuel on idle to my engine. And the only reason for that is this idle jet. So that tiny hole, uh, these tiny holes, they could stop your bike from running. And uh, as you can see, it can be really, really dirty. So um, be careful with it. If you do this, uh, it's at your own risk. But I have done this a couple of times already. I've even done this on um, carbs for a CX500. It's basically the same technique. Um, you could make it a bit more safe. If you go a uh, thread smaller, so you go, this is like M3, I think. If you go smaller than this, then you kind of have another, a bit more skin on it. If you screw one up, uh, then you can go from M2 to M3. But this should work. If you just, you don't drill too far in, uh, there is plenty of flesh on this thing. So you can go, you can go pretty far uh, with that uh, screw, as you can see. So there is some play and you I've only gone this far I think that's enough to get it out uh, it's not really stuck in there um, so yeah I hope it helps um, like my videos subscribe for more GL 1100 videos and tips and shenanigans CX 500 Suzuki GS 450 plenty to do here and thanks for watching